it doesn't speak to you like an audible voice. A lot of times, sometimes it's signs and wonders. Like, you know, I'm about to go to the club tonight, and I get a flat tire. Yeah. He's talking. Okay. That's how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to do a poem called When God Speaks. When God speaks, things happen. <laughs> Spiritually, the word of God causes an immediate reaction. When the king speaks, grace is released. And the enemy is flattened. And your past is placed back in the past tense. Forget what happened. When God makes a sound, the noise shakes the ground. His grace abounds in every place, city or town. Lake, river or fountain, field, valley or mountain. He makes his presence evident. Evidently, he's all around us. When the Father's lips make a motion, it shapes the waves of the oceans. It parted the Red Sea to make a way for the slaves of Goshen. It calmed the storm so the disciples could bring the boat in. It made the Bible we read. I mean, he spoke to the people who wrote it. When God says something, Satan can say nothing. He can soak, sob, and sigh, but I bet you his lips stay button. And God can voice the truth. The devil's a liar, but when the Lord's mouth is open and the enemy's mouth is shut. Come on. God speaks his law. It happens just that fast and it's everlasting. That means there's no taking back what God says. It's that drastic, but it brings peace, grace, favor, and healing. That's fantastic. It's free. No cash or charge, so put away your paper and plastic. Come on. Come on. When God's word fills the air, there's no comparing it to anything in this earthly realm that you've ever experienced. It's excellent. A perfect perfection perfected. And millions of angels singing still couldn't come near to his brilliance. If you find yourselves quoting the words that God's already spoken, the power you invoke will cause all types of bonds to be broken. It'll cause an immediate release of anything the enemy's holding. It'll close a lot of doors, but also cause a lot of doors to be open. Come on. You can speak with your eyes. You can speak when you write. You can speak with your facial expressions like when you get excited. You can speak in a song. A picture can say a thousand words, but there's no authority or focus until the sound of the word is heard. As a child of the king and a joint heir with Christ, you've been washed by his blood and you've stepped into the light. You now have a power in the words you recite. So you can speak death with your tongue, but I pray that you speak life. God said, let there be light. And it brightened the view. He made man and let him name whatever he put a name to. Then he put him to sleep, took a ribbon, he made two. Then he threw him out of the garden when Adam chose to enslave you. The question came when he heard the cries of the blood of Abel. He confounded the language because of the Tower of Babel. Come on. When the daughters of men were being seduced by angels, and there were giants in the land that would murder, maim, and mangle, God wiped it all out except for Noah who remained true. He built an ark for all the animals, and his family came too. Because of Abraham, for Isaac and Jacob, God came through. It was Abraham's faith when Isaac was tied on the table. The voice of God's angel, a bush with the ram and the torns and tail.